Hello and welcome to another video on my channel and today I want to try something new. Uh, if you know my channel uh, or you know me, I do open a lot of different TCGs. So I decided to make like uh, a video series in which I open 10 different booster packs from 10 TCGs. So yeah, maybe uh, this is cool to look at and maybe we can pull something. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more in the future I can mix up some some other TCGs in it too and yeah let's let's hope for some awesome pulls let's start with V-Cross and uh, this was the 10th anniversary set of V-Cross and this set has some amazing cards also some like serialized cards you can pull and yeah there's also this is the Japanese version but there's also an English version and yeah I do open and I, I also do play V cross uh, from time to time, but yeah. Okay, this is a card I needed for my collection, but I did already pulled it for my or in one of my live streams. And yeah, this is uh, a things artwork. You can see like the the cobra on the head. So I needed this card for my ancient Egyptian collection. Maybe you have seen my my video series on on my collection too on my channel. So yeah, I do collect. Uh, ancient Egyptian inspired artworks and TCGs from all different TCGs. So yeah, and this is Osika. Osika is a, a TCG from, uh, oh, I think I thought it's, no, it's not Bushy Road. I was thinking about Rebirth, but Osika is a unique like uh, TCG that has just started a few years ago and has like different license from anime and franchises so we see like yeah they do use basically uh screenshots of the anime so nothing so amazing looking in the basic uh rarities but they do have high rarities which can be worth something like a maureen kitagawa from my dress up darling and yeah signed cards so yeah but the regular cards i have to admit are not looking that great and then we have Union Arena. Union Arena will come to English, at least to America, not to us in Europe as far as I know at the moment. But yeah, this is the Japanese version. I I don't know if I will go or pick up a lot of the, the English releases, to be honest. I At the moment, I don't know if I can afford it. <laughs> but I will try to, to get some... Some English releases, especially when Nike Goddess of Victory comes to comes to Union Arena English. The Japanese uh, release was super popular and successful and got a, a reprint even. But yeah. The same for like Weiss Schwarz also or like uh, Osika. We have we have these low effort or basic uh, screenshots of anime and I I totally agree or get when people say this is really cheap and bad and yeah, I think the same but similar to Weiss Schwarz or Oseka, like the high rarities with the signature cards, this is where the money is or what you are after. So uh, yeah, but I totally get it that the, the lower rarities are just not appealing at all. And yeah, this is Force of Will. This is a German uh, booster pack. And I'm I'm looking for a, a secret rare for my ancient Egyptian collection of Anubis, but it's it's very rare, so chances are not high. But yeah, this TCG is not dead. Maybe some of you might think that uh, Wool is dead, but they do have some new releases from time to time. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And we got okay, just a rare. But yeah, I, I never played Force of Will or was really into it uh, when it was very popular. So I just uh, got some booster packs from this set since I'm I'm looking for the Anubis card. And yeah, I, I do have some, some Yu-Gi-Oh! This set was on a, in a sale in a shop. It was super cheap. So I, I guess there is like nothing really exciting in it. But okay, we got a dinosaur. Dinosaurs are... Always uh, great to get the frozen dinosaur. Rage of Kaiuchin. Marin says, 
a shark and okay i do remember this card i just don't remember the set name but this was like first printed it feels like when i was still into Yu-Gi-Oh! so a long long time ago I am, i'm not opening a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore just when i find something cheap and yeah then i get it <laughs> yeah this is rebirth for you rebirth for you is from bushy road if i'm not super stupid i might be it is from bushy road so yeah same company that produces like uh white Schwartz. and yeah the the sets design can vary a lot like in this azo lane design uh set we have these chibi artworks which are basically from the from the game the characters and yeah we get a triple rare which is not foiled it has just this gold stamp effect and it's also like the the chibi oh but then we get something cool uh the re okay this looks nice it's foiled but it also has uh, some texture you can see it in the background there are these uh circles with texture Oh, that's pretty. But yeah, the the basic rarities or basic cards are not that great in my opinion too, but similar to like Wise Schwartz or Union Arena, like the high rarity cards, there can be cards that are only in two or three cases. So not even, they're not even case hits. And they are signed or like stamped. And yeah, they do have some very special special looking cards too and yeah especially when this is like the third set of azure lane so especially for fans of, of azure lane they do have some nice looking artworks and yeah this is japanese shadowverse evolved set number eight and yeah i i'm not currently buying the new releases anymore even if i think the art looks great from shadowverse but yeah, I I have to make some cuts and I'm more focusing on on some releases like V Cross or Nike card releases. But I might I might pick up some some boxes again in the future if I can afford it, especially in English. Like I, I don't know how to play the game, but uh yeah the card looks looks great and yeah here we have Lyrica Monasterio from uh, Cardfight Vanguard. Also from Bushy Road. The cards have uh, Yu-Gi-Oh size, so they are smaller. But yeah, the these lyrical sets, it's like a, a tribe with like uh, characters uh, with uh, animal features, like cat ears and stuff. And yeah, they do look very cute. They have some some great artworks. And okay, what is this? Like a goat. Yeah, this this is looking a little bit weird, but lower cannonball. But yeah, Cardfight Vanguard has some some nice artwork, and of course you can play with it with the cards. It's still active. And yeah, let's do Lies first. Lies is a a TCG that collaborates with uh, mostly like video games, as far as I think, and many of them are pretty. Pretty loot and yeah. Sometimes the the art style looks a little bit weird, but at least it's not only uh, screen crabs or like screenshots. And again, we have some very very nice looking high rarities if we can manage to pull them, but we cannot. But yeah, very stereotypical, big eyes and yeah. I don't know. Some of these artworks look a little bit cheap in my opinion like the shading and rendering is a bit cheaper looking but yeah let's end with why schwarz and oh no i wanted this video to be under 10 minutes i don't want it to talk so much but yeah please let me know what do you think about this uh, type of video uh should i should i do more in the future i i think it would be cool but if nobody wants to see it i i will not record more of course but yeah, please let me know in the comments. And we have a rare card and the climax, climax rare of Stark and Fern. So thank you for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.